The man who was best on ground yesterday, Hawago Paul Eu. That's a, that's a good go. Yep. Just call him the ace. The he ace. was the ace. This is the boy that's not 16 years of age as yet. We'd seen him before. We'd seen him play for Queensland early in the year and kick five in a game, then four in a game. So he wasn't new to us. I went specially to watch him yesterday. He's a young star, this boy. He had the silky clean hands. He was quick. He was the boy with the dancing feet. And he played a remarkable game across half foot. Gil McLaughlin presented the medal for best on the ground of this boy, not yet 16 years of age. He's a chance to get up into the AFL. Yeah, this boy, he could be a future star. Oh, he's unreal. He's one of the best, I'd say, to come out of the town program that we have in PNG. My name is Elgo Paul Oya, and my nickname is Ace. Ace as a player is, is very tough. That's his, his, one of his main attributes. You probably look at him and he's not weighing too much and he's not overly tall at the moment. But yeah, he's fearless at the football. He competes. He's a hard worker. He's, his second and third and fourth efforts are really good. Um, probably stands out amongst his peers by doing that. He's also really quick. Speed's a, his massive upside and his, and his asset. And also uses the ball pretty well. His skills are pretty good. Bit of tidying up to do, which is why he's, uh, he's in the junior program still. And hopefully uh, when he gets into the AFL, um, he can keep working on that. When, we, when he first came here last year, he was a, a little bit difficult, I would guess, but he was on his own in a, in a foreign country and uh, was uh, really kept to himself it was difficult to get him to talk. We tried to get him to go to school. That was a fun experience. Uh, he probably asked my wife about the day when we didn't want to get out of bed, but we, we got past that and we understand, uh, it, it helped us understand where he, where he was at. He's a, he's a kind, gentle young man, very, uh, I suppose, naive to the world. Really cares about people that show him they care about him. He's, he's, he's fitted in beautifully at home. I know we're 12 months in now and it's taken a, a little bit of work, but he does his bit around the house and he's keen to do it. He's keen to make the best for himself, footy-wise and life-wise, so that's exciting. We only hope that his footy develops and we can get him the education he needs to help him support that. Myself, I'm really proud and my dad signed to, like, see Renzi and Carl and sign up with the sons and he was like really happy to and all my family. Yes. I think that moment was, um, it sort of hit home to me and Cal at the time when we were over there, how much it means to, to the family and, and for him to, to raise a young man to now see his career in the AFL. For him was, as I said before, pretty emotional, but at the same time trying to hold back a bit of that too and, and also exciting and, and so happy. We showed him a bit of vision and what Ace has been able to do and how he's playing and they were just hovering around the computer, just looking at the vision, just like they hadn't seen anything like that before. And they, and they probably wouldn't see a lot of that. So for them to see that, I think, and to see it's actually happening, yeah, it was, was amazing. My dad said, oh, son, I was really proud of you because I already signed the paperwork with the sons. So yeah, all my brothers and sisters too are really happy. He joins in and likes to do things. So we'll go and visit my mum or we'll go and visit Chris's family and he wants to come to those things. My wife spent a bit of time helping him with his education, his reading and writing and things, and I get him involved and try and uh, teach him the things around the house that I do, the cooking and on the barbecue and those things. So, yeah, you know, he fits in really well and uh, he's keen to do that, especially now. I want to thank, like, FL Penzi back home and Ben Drew and all my family back home and especially my mum and dad. Yeah, and Tim and Chris down here in Gold Coast. Hopefully, he becomes educated enough so that he can either go home and start his own business or stay in Australia and, and, and have a happy full life. Whether it's playing footy or not, I, I, it doesn't really bother me. It'd be great to see that, but I know how much it'll mean to him and his family if he can become successful in life. Going over there to see what they're up against over there and the challenges a developing country like PNG have got in front of them for Ace to, to make a, a career in Australia will be great for Ace. So to see him just develop off the field, and then on the field to play some AFL football would be amazing.